TikTok. Do the scientists really know? Will it really happen today? It's supposed to. What time? At 12.15 sharp. Give or take a few seconds. I wonder what it's gonna be like. Probably like the last time, stupid. Oh. What was it like last time? How am I supposed to know? I was just a kid. I'm a little scared. Me too. So am I. What are you all so scared about? Nothing happened to us last time, right? We're still here, right? What do you think you're doing? Can you hear it? It's letting up. Listen. No, it's not. Besides, Mrs. Callahan put me in charge. She told me to make sure everyone goes under the lamps, and that includes you. But the sun's coming out today. So what? So we don't need them. Yes, we do. We always need them. Well, not when we have the sun. Don't you know what the sun does? Yes, I know what the sun does. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to go under the lamps just like everybody else. You think you're special just because you're born on Earth? What is it, William? What is it that can't wait till I get to class? Marco won't go under the lamp. Well, why not, Margo? Mrs. Callahan, today I want to wait for the real sun. I want to talk to you for a moment, Margo. Will the rest of you get ready for class? We've got a lot to do before the big event. Alone, William. I can't believe it's really going to happen. Margo, I know how much you've been looking forward to this, but... Don't let your hopes get too high. You know, sometimes nature can be fickle. It's been nine years since the sun paid its last visit. And then it was only for an hour. Well, I don't care if it's only for a minute. I understand how you feel. But you still must go under the lamps. Do I have to? Yes. I insist. There you go, just like the real sun. No, it's not. How do you know? Because I remember. No, you don't. Nobody remembers. I do. Are you hiding that? It's beautiful. I don't know. It's not exactly the way I wanted it to be. Mrs. Cal Class, I want you all to look at this. Margo, tell everyone about your painting. Well, I tried to make it how it looked when I lived on Earth in Ohio. There was sun all the time. I can still see it, but I just can't paint it right. How lucky you are to have lived on Earth long enough to remember the sun so vividly. Now we have to keep our fingers crossed for the rain to stop and for our sun to shine on our planet so that we have lovely memories too. Just like the Earth, we're the only planet that can sustain life in our solar system because our sun is close enough to keep us warm. Hmm. Paula? Um... Our sun is mostly made of hydrogen and helium. And the center of it rises to 20,000 degrees. Count again, Paula. Count your zeros. Oh, 20 million degrees. 
No, I don't think so, Paula. According to my calculations, it's exactly 20,301,000 degrees. Paula, what would we do without Michael? William? William, it's your turn. What? We were talking about the sun. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the sun is made of two gases. One is hydrogen. Never mind. Margo? Hey, I'm not done. William, you know you're supposed to contribute something new about the sun and not repeat what has already been said. Now, please pay attention. Margo? The sun is like a flower that blooms for just one hour and fills our worlds with light and leaves us feeling bright. Oh, that's lovely, Margo. Did you write it? Yeah, it's a poem. It's just lovely. down even harder. Right, Michael? Oh, yes. Precisely 1.5 times harder than it was an hour ago. But we still have almost two hours. Yeah. Well, I say it's not going to stop. I say the sun's not going to come out at all. William, 